Ashton, this is Thomas. This is Thomas here. And Taylor. Today we're going to talk about storytelling. Some of you might know why I like to talk about storytelling. At church. Do any of you know some very ancient stories that have a good meaning, a, a moral meaning, a, a, a way to, um, maybe a good way to live your life? Can you know, do you know where I'm going? There's church-like stories, religious-like stories. Yeah, Ashton, are you thinking of one maybe? Is one coming to mind? A little bit? Let's see, Thomas. Could I sit in between? Okay. And I will sit. Thomas, what story do you have on your mind? Oh, Moses in the Old Testament of the Bible. Part of the Red Sea. Yes. And how was he able to do that in this story in the Bible? What gave him that ability? Do you remember? Liam, do you have any stories, any ancient stories? Or you don't have to be ancient, they could be newer, they might have a, a moral. God. God wiped out most of all the animals and the humans, except for Noah and his family and two of the native animals. Yes. Yes. So God had, so there were some folks that thought that this story that happened very long ago was worth recording in a book. And this story has been passed down generation after generation. Do you think it was always in writing? Ashton, do you think people always wrote their stories down? How might they have told their stories? How might they have recorded their stories and they didn't write them down? They could have told other people them. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Oral history. Storytelling is. Well, to, to, kind of, to close with this idea of storytelling and the importance of it, I wanted to, I wanted to emphasize the American Indians. The American Indians, for 10,000 years, told stories on totem poles. Do any of you know what's on those totem poles? Have you ever taken a close look? Creatures. And usually they were creatures, animals that lived with those people. The American Indians I'm thinking of are the Northwest Indians. And I have this picture of a thunderbird. And the folks that lived with the animals and recorded stories on these big cedar poles, big trees, were telling very important stories about their history, of who they are as people. So everybody knew where they came from and who they belonged to. A lot like Noah or Moses. So people throughout history have always needed to know where they come from so they can feel safe and secure. The neat thing is, it's not just Christian, American Indians, people of all faiths tell stories about what's important to them. I've got a copy of the Quran, and I think it's so neat that Liam brought up the story of Noah, because the story of Noah is in the Quran also. And in this story, it is emphasized that God trusted Noah to go to all the people to amend their ways. They were not behaving well. That there was just 
one God. And they could trust that God. And you know, the American Indians have a very strong belief that they are part of this earth and they can trust the earth to give them everything they need. And a lot of the stories on those totem poles, on those cedar totem poles, scratch this and sniff. Does that smell like, does that smell like cedar? Have you ever smelled cedar before? The Indians lived with that cedar. Their houses were made of the cedar. Their totem poles, their canoes, their 60-foot canoes were made of the totem poles. Everything in their lives, the roots from the cedar tree, made the baskets that held their water. Did you smell the cedar? social hall, and we're going to explore total cults some more, and explore more about what the American Indians believed and why it was important to them to be made a people full of tradition and love. So let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for being with us from the beginning of time, for giving us ways to remember that we are just as much a part of the earth as the animals, the trees, and the soil itself. Thank you for the storytellers from ancient times that bring us the messages so important for a good, healthy 